Well, luckily for us, we're connected with our very <laughs> resident financial expert, uh, financial planner, Meta Andriani. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about physical versus digital gold investment. Good morning. Happy Monday, Mbak Meta. Hi, Mbak Meta. Thank you for joining us as <laughs> usual. You're looking wonderful on a Monday morning. Uh, uh, Mbak Meta, I would like to ask you, first of all, what is the morning. difference between conventional and digital gold? Hi, Mameta. Can you hear it? Well, yes. Mm, okay. uh, conventional gold is... Con yes. Uh, is my voice clear? Yeah. Yes. All good. Okay. Right. Okay. Conventional gold is that when you buy the physical gold, you know, you <coughs> point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, gold is a tool to purchase and sell pure gold in its digital form at the prevailing market prices. Yeah, so when the gold that you buy is actually backed with the physical gold, which is stored oh. under your name in the certified vault. So you can, uh, and you can convert uh, your digital gold holding until, until, until you accumulated some amounts. Uh -huh. You can convert it into coins bars at any time you want, mm -hmm. or you just can just resell it to your seller. Okay. But if you want to convert it to the physical gold, you, of course, you need to pay the, the making charges, you know, the biaya cetak emas, yeah? Oh, oh I, I see. Okay, okay so um, how come they have a different prices, Mbak? Because of the biaya cetak or any other reasons? Yes. Yes, mostly because of that. Because when you buy the physical gold, of course, you know the gold has to be mounted, right? And mm -hmm. and okay. the making charges itself is is is, is expensive. Oh, and okay. while you, when you buy digital, you can you can just buy you know with the trading prices. And when you want to convert it, then you can just pay the the making charges. So so at least you don't have to pay that mu that much amount of money upfront. Oh, you can okay. just buy it later when you already accumulated some amount. But how <laughs> much, Mameta? Well, you can start as slow as possible. You know, I think in some platform you can start maybe from five thousand rupees or oh, okay. ten thousand rupees. So whatever amount that you you you, you, you put, it will be converted uh, with the price of gold. Oh, so okay. your passbook will, okay. will will show that the amount you're converted with the yeah yeah with the with the, with the gold. And after after uh, after sometimes when you accumulated the balance, you know after a very long period of time, maybe you when you can. For example, when you can accumulate up to 10 grams of gold or, or 50 grams of gold, like with, like Paul uh, show, so you can just convert it into the physical gold. Yeah, so I guess it's like every other thing that if you choose to buy, like I compare it with uh, PlayStation. You know, if you, if you buy PlayStation games and you yeah. buy the actual disc, yeah. it actually costs a little bit more, oh, but you okay. can buy a digital form of it, but you don't actually own the, the actual physical hard copy. Oh, but a lot okay. of people are getting more transitioning to that because they say, hey, I'm spending less anyway. Yeah, I don't need right. to bring this thing around everywhere as long as I know I have it in my machine. And it's a lot safer, right? And well, the, mm -hmm. is it a lot safer, Mameta? Is that true? Uh, how risky is it? Because we're not actually physically seeing the gold, yeah. so an actual walking around with an asset obviously yeah. it's more risky to walk around with gold but how safe is it knowing that it's out there somewhere but you don't know physically where it is or who's mm. holding it well at this moment the government has it had issued many regulations to support the digital gold investment ecosystem <coughs> yeah, so you people do not have to worry about investing in this assets okay. as long as the investment is made in the in the under companies that is official and have permits yeah so the so the law number 10 of uh, the, the year 2011 uh, concerning about the community futures trading and it, it includes the digital gold investment so it is supervised by the community futures trading supervisory agency you know the PAPP okay. yeah. and okay. you know the the the, the venue the, 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 tra the transaction venue is the Jakarta futures exchange okay. and and the PAPP uh, or the PT Clearing Berjangka Indonesia to guarantee and complete every transaction in the digital gold markets. And the, the clearing agency itself is not only, uh, you know, for, for the ensuring the, the transactions, but also it's also a, a depository institution. So that's why when you buy the gold digitally, huh? it is backed by the by the gold, by the physical gold, and it is safe in the depository institution. Okay. So that's why it is safe as long as you invested 
company that the official company the that have permits company. because then the system is already set in the in, in the country sure yes to ensure the the safe uh, transaction of the digital gold investment okay so we can take we can i guess we can take uh you know kind of comfort in knowing that in, even though you're not holding the physical gold itself the gold has to exist in order for you to buy it it's not like yeah. a bubble that could eventually pop that everyone's buying this gold that isn't really there like you actually <laughs> have to get it and you can cash it out if you, you want to cash it, it out yeah okay mm. so regarding the um um the safety of this um, investment, um, Ahmed, how can we choose the right and safe provider for digital gold investment? Uh, sorry, uh, I think the, the, the voice is breaking up. Uh, okay, what's sorry. Um, so I want to know, <laughs> I want to know um, um, how can we choose the right provider for this um, uh, gold investment, Ahmed? Yes, I think first uh, you need to make sure that the, the place that you buy the investment is mm -hmm. the you know is the official place, okay. yeah. Because otherwise, you know, your transaction will not be back with the with the with physical gold, and okay. it will be just a trading, not investment, mm -hmm. right? And it's 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 different between trading and investment because then you you always monitor it on a daily basis. While while for investment. That's, that's, the thing is, you want to top up your investing at any time, mm. whatever the price is, and then you accumulate and then you, you convert it. So, so that's a different, right? Okay. So, uh, so that, that that's a very good first rules. You buy it from a uh, official partner of the you know of the government, yeah. And the second thing is, I think uh, just like in, in any investment, before you do the investment, you have to understand how it works, and you have to have the time uh, to monitor your investment. So. So I mean, if you if you really want to invest, you, you just you, you actually have to monitor the prices and mm -hmm. you know if it is not uh, if it is maybe too much for you, maybe you want to sell it. So you sell, you know how to, how the process, and you know you you know how how to 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 to, to make sure that your your investment is safe. Yeah. So and I think uh, first then if you put a place to to, to put the money mm -hmm. to put your investment, mm -hmm. I think it's better to put it in the in the one place at least so you can monitor it very easy unless oh, you put it in okay. many places then it is difficult for you to monitor sure. and then suddenly you forgot and then and then, and then once you remember the price is already down it it, 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 it will be the risk for that oh don't right? worry my meta shanas doesn't forget any of the money that she has anyway she I remembers remember everywhere she goes. <laughs> so speaking of shanas She's a millennial. I'm uh, whatever generation is before millennial. <laughs> so who is, who is this uh, digital gold actually for? Well, yeah, of course, uh, right now, because of the advancement of technology, right mm -hmm. now, I think the, the millennials or the, even the, gen, the Z generation, they are now into digital. Uh, they are digital natives. Yes. So that's why I think I forgot where, where I read it, but but they said you know the number of the digital investor now is much more increasing than wow. the traditional investor in the stock stock market. So now the youngsters right. are, are 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 more open to investing, mm. and because they are digitally natives, it's easier for them to operate the you know the, the gadget. You know you can just click to buy it and click to sell, and then <coughs> and then you just monitor your 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 investment. And whenever there is a, uh, an ad, an update. Maybe they can just move to another digital platform, right? Oh, okay. So, so I think. Uh, but, but then again, I think with this kind of uh, in, in this era, then you just you just you, you don't need to just. Uh, I mean, you have to be open, not to be just digitally literate, but mm. you also you need to be financially literate. So you know how to use the gadget and what it is for, right? Right. So that's the most important. Thing. And I think it's okay. great for paranoid people like me who want to check all the time if my investments have gone down. I can just easily open my phone. Maybe, maybe. Yes. But... And and it is it, 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 maybe it is safer for you to to hold the gold, right? You can, yeah. You can see it physically. Yeah. You can, see it, you can, you can touch maybe. it and then feel that. My wife will certainly feel that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, Mameta, if we talk about investment, we um, actually we want something in return, right? Um, uh, so, how long does it take for investors to actually gain profit from uh, this gold investment? 
Well, yeah, investing in gold, uh, it is considered conservative, right? Because uh, yes. uh, they say it is a safe yeah. It is a safe haven because gold is like a hedging instrument to yes. any situations. Mm -hmm. right? But if you hold the gold for just a short term, normally it will not be that profitable because there is a spread oh, okay. between the buying price and the selling price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you should you, you better hold it for a certain uh, several period of time before you know the spread is compensated over time how right? long though? and how about if you put it uh, long term of course of course if it is if it's safe then for long term it, it is safe but at the end maybe the amount that the capital gain that you have it may not be as high uh, if you compare it to the other instruments yeah. you know like stocks or bonds etc sure. so it is also safe for long term but it will not be that profitable so for me Holding gold is actually maybe for mid to long term, and okay. I really want to at least you know you have to compensate the between with the buying and selling price. Maybe better you 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 hold it for maybe two to three years and, until you actually uh, buy. I, I mean, like, give your time to accumulate it mm -hmm. and let the the spread is compensated over time, and then then you can you can just. But sell it later, yeah. Exactly. And if I look at the trend right now, like I was told, I showed you guys I was using Peluang. Exactly two years ago, uh, <laughs> gold was, yeah, uh, much lower price, 600,000 uh, per wow. gram as opposed to now where it's almost 900,000 per gram. Yeah. There you go. So a couple of years, okay. you could have almost uh, made 30% of your money back. Okay. Anyway, thank Meta, you. thank you so much for your you Monday for your morning uh, insight into uh, digital gold in addition <laughs> to just regular conventional gold as an investment. We <clears> hope <throat> you have a great week. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk thank to you again you, really Mameta. soon. Definitely. Take good care, Mameta.